Hi everyone and welcome to this video about the four levels of explanation in psychology. So we know that psychology is that systematic study of thoughts, feelings and behaviour and one way that psychologists try and explain people's behaviour is by looking at the following four levels. Um, it's also really important because throughout this year 12 course we're going to be referring back to these levels um, so you need to to build a foundation early, make sure you understand them so that we can build on that knowledge throughout the year. So let's take a look at the biological level of explanation first. Now this really focuses on the biological and chemical processes that might underlie that behaviour. So looking at things like your brain structure and function, um, things like drugs and medication, heart rate, blood pressure, could be um, hormonal factors as well. So any situation, anything biological, chemical that could be impacting that behaviour. Now the next level is the basic processes level um, and this focuses on psychological processes that are really common and universal across humans. So we look at two main areas here. One is cognition which involves memory and thinking and the other is learning. So these are the way these I guess occur are really really common across all humans regardless of where they're from. Now the next level is the person level. So this is focusing on the individual differences in people's behaviour because we're all different. So thinking about factors like age, sex, class, um, intelligence or education, uh, personality and motivation, all those things that make you different from the person next to you, they are going to impact how you respond to a situation. Lastly, we broaden the scope a little bit and look at the socio-cultural level. So this level focuses on the influence that other people have on our behaviour in terms of our social and cultural context. So it could be the culture that you're in, it could be the socioeconomic status, it could be um, things like peer group stereotypes, the social setting at that moment or even things like upbringing. So those are the four levels and a really great, great way to try and unpack them in a bit more detail is to look at advertising. So this ad on the right here um, is trying to sell us something and we can really unpack our response in terms of the four levels. So number one, what are some of the biological factors or physiological responses that this ad might stimulate? So pause the video here, have a look back at that list we looked at earlier and jot down some ideas. Um, hopefully you have something like perhaps a, um, a hormone response, it could be a spike in um, some kind of reaction, it could be things like blood pressure, heart rate, perhaps perspiration, um, any of those things are more than fine. And really remembering that your biological response is, is very, very hard to control and it's quite automatic. Now the next level, basic processes, how memorable is this ad likely to be? What, looking at this ad, what would make you remember this company? So pause the video here and jot down some things. Um, this is probably the trickiest one to try and unpack, but you might be thinking about that common phrase of sex sells. Um, and it's really common, I guess, to have people with objects um, that it's going to sell more than just having an image of an ob object. You know, humans like that emotional connection to something. Um, you could also be talking about the fact that it is, you know, a, an attractive person that, you know, there are a lot of studies that talk about us being more willing to buy something if there's someone attractive in it, that kind of thing as well. All right, the person level. So what type of ad is this ad what type of person is this ad targeting? So um, not only looking at him, but what he's holding, what's behind him, the lighting, the colours, all those things. So pause the video here and just jot down some ideas as to who this ad might be targeting. Okay, hopefully you have some things like um, a particular gender, perhaps a particular um, sexual orientation. Um, it could be person with particular characteristics, so, you know, people who appreciate winning and victory and strength um, and masculinity. Um, it could be people who are quite driven and motivated themselves, maybe quite impressionable young people, any of those are more than fine. And the very last socio-cultural factors. So would this ad offend any groups of people? So thinking about situations that you might be in looking at this ad um, and how your reaction might be different. 
Okay, so thinking about here, if you were to sit with your um, your family around a dinner table and you saw this ad, your reaction might be quite different um, than if you were with some girlfriends or some mates at a bar. Could be very different there as well. Um, in a Western culture, we would view this in one way as well, whereas other cultures that that aren't used to seeing, you know, half naked people like that, they might have a very different reaction to this ad as well. So this kind of shows you how you can unpack any kind of behavior, behavioral situation um, with these four levels and really just using them to guide how you explain people's behavior. Um, obviously though in a test or an exam like situation it's it's quite unlikely to be able to get an image and you're probably more likely to see a written scenario. So let's have a look at this one here and unpack the levels again. So Craig is a year 10 student who's generally quiet in class. He rarely contributes to discussions because he's scared of making a mistake and looking silly in front of his friends. He has particular trouble concentrating in the morning when he's often tired and hungry as he doesn't eat breakfast. So have a pause of the video here and really go through one by one each of those levels and write down some of the factors that could help explain Craig's behaviour in the situation and bring those notes to class with you. Now, hopefully by the end of this video, you have quite a solid understanding of each of the four levels. And that's really important because each of them are going to tie to a different topic that we'll study this year. So for the biological level, we will be studying the altered states of awareness, um, the psychobiology of altered states of awareness, looking at things like sleep and stress um, and physiological arousal. For basic processes, we will be studying how people learn. For the person level, we will be looking at um, theories of personality and what makes people different. And for socio-cultural level, we'll be looking at social cognition. And our very last topic for the year, which is healthy minds, is actually an integration of all four levels and trying to weave them all together. So um, that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.